see a reconstruction of a Focke Wolf FW200 Condor is one of the most important aircraft reconstruction projects in Europe. After over 20 years of work, a pile of rubble was turned into a nearly complete aircraft. Unfortunately, the reconstructed Condor is not airworthy. But this gap has now been filled by Microsoft, at least virtually, with the release of the Condor as part of Microsoft's Flight Simulator's local Legend series. My name is Günter Huyer. I am a volunteer of the Deutsche Technik Museum in Berlin. 1937, the famous aircraft manufacturer Focke Wolf presented to the FW200 Condor to the public. A modern four engine long distance airliner capable of transporting 26 passengers. Powerful, reliable, comfortable, and technology ahead of its time. A masterpiece of the Bremen based manufacturer. In August 1938, the Condor gained worldwide attention as the aircraft, equipped with several additional fuel tanks, successfully crossed the North Atlantic in the east-west direction in an unprecedented non-stop flight from Berlin to New York. In 1999, a uh, FW200 C3 was raced in Norway near the Trondheim Fjord from a deep of 60 meters. Back in February 1942, due to aircraft encountered technical problems and had a risk a water landing and ultimately sunk. The crew survived. Unfortunately, during the rescue operation in 1999, the wreck burst into 100,000 pieces. The Museum in Berlin revived the Condor by using many of the pieces from the wreck and as well as a myriad of newly manufactured parts. With the generous help of industry partners like Airbus in Bremen, Lufthansa Hamburg, Rolls-Royce Deutschland and uncounted part suppliers, and of course, the tireless and unshakable efforts of volunteers, the so-called Condorians, the Condor was brought back on its feet, or rather tires. It took over 20 years of hard work and dedication until the volunteers and supporters were able to celebrate success. And that had been by no means certain. To rebuild such a large aircraft requires space, equipment, material, tower and financing. Many times the project was facing difficulties and was in danger of failing. But motivation and toughness of the Condorians to rebuild an aircraft from the 1930s overcome all difficulties. One of the great challenges was not even the technology behind it all. The question, what was the Finnish Condor supported to look like? was subject to a great and a long debate. Should it carry the livery of the passenger aircraft? Or maybe the military colors? The Freck from Trondheim was a military aircraft. In the end, the reconstructed plane was painted in silver and only carried the Focke Wolf company logo. A neutral version, neither civilian nor military. Microsoft came to Berlin to scan the aircraft and made it local legend number 19. As it is a civilian flight simulator, they opted to make the civilian version. 
not the well-known Berlin New York aircraft, but a enhanced version inspired by the version D2 with a three-bladed propeller and the double-wheeled landing gear. At the the Condor flies again is delighted for all the Condor yets, also because their work was the basis for the Lopi Legion number 19. They are very proud of this and the Condorians will inspect every aspect in great detail as many of them were aircraft and engine manufacturers during their active careers. For me personally, this is a very exciting project. Aside from the many technical aspects, I learned a lot about the people, the crews of the FW200 and their destinies, the great teamwork of the colleagues from Bremen, Berlin, Ursel and Hamburg was incredibly enriching. And I was also very happy to support the Microsoft team in their efforts to digitally build the Condor. And I'm looking forward to flying the aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I wish you a great flight with the Condor.